take it more Will you take a swing I wonder What are we fighting for When I say out loud I wanna get out of this I wonder Is there anything I'm gonna miss I how's it gonna be When it goes down How's it gonna be That was Third Eye Blind. Thank you guys for watching. Let's get back to the studio. Hey guys, so that song that I just played and you heard is How's It Gonna Be by Third Eye Blind. That's a song I've been listening to for a long time. I've actually busked with that song, but never played it for this channel, I don't think. Now the story with that is, in the past several weeks, I have had an influx of self-tape auditions. I think I actually had four. One of them was a voiceover. It's very interesting how it's working, because in the old days, there used to be auditions that would come in in waves similar to now, but right now, none of them are in person, so it seems like there's more, and there's a lot of casting to be done, especially with all the free time that casting agencies must be having. So I had to play a song for a specific audition, and I was playing a few Third Eye Blind songs to figure out which one I wanted to play. It was that one and another Third Eye Blind song that we thought sounded the best. And about that song, How's It Gonna Be, it's really fun to play, and I don't play it enough, which is why I chose it for this video. But another reason why I like to sing it now is because I can sing it without my voice hurting and without coughing. Because as you guys know, my voice is really changing. Here's a clip from the past. So I just wanted to tell you guys about a really cool device I just took ownership of. Just wanted to post that to see what you guys thought, because I thought it was... So hopefully you can hear that difference. Took ownership. Just wanted to post that. Ownership. Post that. Ownership. Post that. Ownership. Post that. It's very weird for me. I mean, I didn't sing that much over the summer, and when I got back to it, my voice felt very different. We've been going back and forth between Martha's Vineyard during the weekends, but I hadn't thought of playing a song at the lighthouse or somewhere else that has an incredible scenery, but it seems like whenever I go to the lighthouse and I'm trying to film something, as you guys heard last week, it's always super windy and noisy, but another reason why that guitar I was playing is so great is because you can really hear it. it's loud, the sound carries, and that's also why this microphone is so good, because it has what's called a dead cat that blocks the wind. It also made me think about Prince Edward Island, because I think it was last year, I did this video about playing in Prince Edward Island with a beautiful PEI background behind me. And I realized I probably should have flown the drone, but it could have been something I did this year. But since the border was shut, we didn't get to go in, and I guess that's just something for me to look forward to that I can do next year. If the border's open. It's not even certain that it's going to be open next summer as well. So like my situation, everyone out there watching this video and just everyone in the world, situations are uncertain and unclear. And that's why I keep going back to the vineyard. I don't even know for sure that I would be going this weekend. And also, even hockey got cancelled for two weeks. All the rinks were shut down. Boston Public Schools have shut down as well, so who knows what's even gonna happen with my school. But guys, the one guarantee, even if I am going to the back and forth to the vineyard and 
even if my school is shut and the world is closing down, these videos will still be coming out, and I wanted to thank you guys very much for always watching them. Oh, sap.